Hi everyone, this video is going to be for swatches, including lip swatches and a review of some new Milani lip products. These are called the Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayons. So if you would like to see what these colors look like, including on the lips, and also my thoughts on the formula, then this is the video for you. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel by hitting that red subscribe button and hit that notification bell. Follow Allura Beauty on Instagram. And of course, if you missed the latest video, that was a really epic empties video that I did where I have a ton of products that I have used up or are super old and I'm throwing out and I just had a lot of fun doing really in-depth reviews of the products I did and did not like. It's a very long video so it will be a video that you can just have running in the background if you're doing some house chores. I'll link it in the upper right hand corner for you to check out. All right let's get looking at Milani's new Ludicrous Matte Lip Crayons. So as always, I'll put a link in the description box below to where you can find these to purchase if you're interested. And I will also put a link to Ebates so that if you do make purchases online, you can get cash back. These are currently not widely available yet, but they are available if you go to Milani's website directly. They also just got put up on Walmart's website. So I'll make sure to provide those links in the description box. Now on Walmart's website, they retail for $7.97 each. If you purchase directly through Milani, they're $8.99, so of course the better value currently is through Walmart's website. About these new lip products, Milani says, Statement making lips so easy it's ludicrous. Create your perfect bold lip in just one swipe with this luxurious hyperpigmented glide-on formula. The ludicrous matte lip crayon has a defined crayon tip for a seamless application and a blend of shea butter, jojoba, and avocado oil for comfortable and nourishing all-day wear. The non-drying creamy formula applies effortlessly and stays on all day, so you never have to worry about feathering or cracking. It's the perfect combination of highly saturated color and nourishing all day weightless wear. These apparently are made in Germany and it is a cruelty free product. And when it comes to the ingredients, I do see a bunch of different oils. I do see the shea butter in addition to the avocado, jojoba, and olive oils. And I don't see anything like fragrance being added. So there's actually a total of 14 shades in this range. I have almost all of those for you here. Insomniac, shade 200, that was out of stock, so I don't have that for you. And I also do not have the very last shade, 240 front row, which is kind of like a purpley blue color. The rest of the 12 shades will be here for you to see what the colors look like. So when it comes to the tubes, they are plastic tubes that have an indication of what the color is like inside by the color of the tube itself. You have the name of the product, on one side and Milani's logo on the other. For the price, you are getting 0.05 ounces or 1.4 grams of product and the shade number and name will be on the bottom. So the cap snaps off and you get your um, pencil inside and you will twist in the middle to push up more product. So shade 110 is no curfew. 120 is can't even. 130 is crazy for you. 140 is so obsessed. 150 is lovesick. 160 is truth or dare. 170 is good side. 180 is reckless. 190 is v cute. 210 is off the wall. 220 is Rager, and 230 is Post Game. Right, no curfew is described as a peachy nude. Don't know how much peach is really in this shade. Can't even is described as a mauvey nude. Crazy for you is a rosy mauve. So Obsessed is described as a cool brown. Lovesick is a warm red brown. Truth or Dare is a red orange. Good Side is a ruby. Reckless is a berry shade. V cute is a berry fuchsia. 
off the wall is a deep burgundy. Rager is a blackened plum. And post game, they describe this as a plum. All right, there are your 12 ludicrous matte lip crayons. Here they are up close. Hopefully you could tell by the swatching that you really didn't have to layer these very much. They swiped on pretty much with one, maybe two swipes across. They all have really good color. They do glide across the skin very easily. I didn't have to use a lot of pressure. I didn't have to tug and pull at the skin to get the color payoff. Seems to be opaque also. Now that these have been sitting on my arm for a few minutes, let's go ahead and do a swipe test. Just see how resistant they are. Pretty good. There is a lot of drag when I'm swiping across, so these aren't just sliding right off. They're not completely smudge proof, but they do a pretty good job. And let's go ahead and see what happens with makeup removing, the makeup wipe. Yeah, so they do stick pretty well to the skin. It does take a bit of effort to take them off the skin. Not too much staining there. So at this point, I have applied all of the shades that we swatched and worn them. And here are my first impressions. First is that, like we saw in the swatches, these have really nice color to them. They are pretty much all opaque. A couple of them, you just have to make sure you layer them properly to make sure there's not any more translucent patches. But for the most part, these are very opaque and you don't have to do a bunch of layering or smudging and blending in order to get a smooth opaque layer of color on the lips. The second thing is that these are pretty easy to apply because once again, they don't have any sort of noticeable tug or pull or drag across the lips. They apply fairly effortlessly. These do remind me a lot of the Maybelline Superstay ink crayons that I listed as one of my best products of 2019 in that the colors are good, the matte formula doesn't tug on the skin, pretty easy to apply. These don't dry out your lips, certainly, even though they do have a matte powdery finish. They're not actively pruning your lips or making them feel tight. I wouldn't classify it, just like with the Maybelline ones, as a hydrating formula. I think the Maybelline ones are maybe a slight bit more hydrating than these. The ones from Milani are a little more powdery in terms of formula. So if you do already suffer from pretty dry lips, then this formula is not going to be hydrating enough for you. But if you have quote unquote normal skin for your lips and don't have any particular issues, you should be able to wear these alone without too much trouble. I don't detect any sort of weird scent or fragrant when I apply or wear these. And the deeper and brighter shades do leave a bit of a stain behind. Once I got to the last, uh, you know, four or five colors, I did notice that the shades would leave a stain behind. So overall, I really like these new lip shades from Milani. They're a very nice matte lip crayon. The bullets, because they're kind of rounded and not super narrow. They can give you a bit of trouble, especially on the brighter and deeper shades with getting a precise border on the lips. So in order to get a more precise application, you might want to resort to using a lip brush. I didn't do that for any of the swatches in this video, which is why some of the uh, lip swatches will probably look a little funky, but overall very pleasant and easy to use with a matte formulation that isn't uncomfortable or difficult to wear. So let me know in the comment section below, A, what are your favorite shades or shade that you saw swatched? And B, what you think of these products, if you've used them before yourself, or what you think from what you saw from the swatches. I hope this video was helpful to you and helped you find out if you wanted to purchase any of these. If you enjoyed the video and have a couple seconds, please give the video a thumbs up. As always, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this, and I'll see you in the next video.